Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Sag Lich, aka Sag, and today I'm bringing you a little bit of a sit down, hanging with Sag video. These aren't really vlogs, these are more kind of like what's going on in the week of Sag. Basically, as you can tell, got my Hyrule gear on, uh, ready to go on the quest with Link. Who knows, might be rescuing a princess, might not, but when you do, you gotta go with the energy drink. Got my new shipment of G Fuel. Shout out to G Fuel. Uh, today's blue ice, first time ever trying it. Pretty good so far, but uh, got a little bit of stuff talked about and uh, very low battery, so let's get into it. Um, so basically, I'm going from Saturday to today, which is Friday. Um, what's going on, what happened this weekend. This past Saturday, we actually uh, had our first real tournament for Underdog Gaming. I mean, yeah, there was a tournament before, but this this is like bragging rights. This was for a $20 gift certificate for PSN, or PSN card, whatever. And uh, Cyber was nice enough to get it, wanted to bring a couple of us together. And, uh, but yeah, three things that were really the takeaway. Uh, first off, let's get into a congratulations to Cyber winning back his $20 uh, to keep it for next tournament. Uh, really good overall time that we had. Uh, I believe they started at 8 o'clock, maybe 7, and it went up until 2 o'clock in the morning. So uh, we're trying to kind of, it was our first tournament like that that we had, um, and we're trying to take our thoughts and why it took so long and bring it to the next one and not take it as long. So uh, that's really the first part I want to get into. It took forever. And uh, so we kind of modified the rules as we went. There was no particular rules. I mean, we had a thought as we were going, but then realized we had to we had to bring it back. But uh, yeah, um, in the final round, it was between either Cyber Spartan or Rob the Boss 21. And you guys know that um, myself, Cyber Spartan, and Rob all uh, founded Underdog Gaming. So it was really cool seeing that two founders um, going against one another in the uh, top prize um, by no means do we think we're great in any sense but the fact is we do have a lot of great players on the team and in the clan and it was just really cool to see all of us getting together and how close all the games really were for the most part uh, third thing and I think this was the biggest thing for me personally for the event or the tournament or whatever it is um, we had this coming years in the making. Um, I'm not really sure when Black Ops 1 was released, but during that time, uh, you guys have heard me talk about this. Me and Rob have been playing together since Black Ops 1, and we have, we really haven't left each other's side for a long time, regardless of where we are in our lives. And, uh, I consider Rob a pretty good friend of mine, a uh, real cool dude. Um, consider a lot of people that I play with a real good friend of mine. But uh, this is coming at least five years in the making, and as Rob and me were paired up in the quarterfinals or semifinals, one of the two, I can't remember which. I think it was the quarterfinals. And we were playing one on one on fringe, and from what Cyber was telling us, because he uh, streamed the game and he had all the information, it took me and Rob an hour to do a best of three. An hour. And each game was up to 20 kills. First game, Rob won, I think it was 20 to 18, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong, oh well. Uh, second game, I won. Uh, excuse me, one second. Pop that real quick, like I said gonna be a quick one second game I won 20 to 13 uh, and we were playing we were playing to each other's we were playing to our own strengths because the thing is with me and Rob we know how each other play so we had to make it to where we adapted to one another uh, the third game I was up 19 to 17 I only needed one kill Rob gets a kill makes it 19 18 gets a quick re-kill after that and then stuns me and rushes me with a VMP to win the game and I cannot be prouder of how I play because honestly guys I thought I was going to get blown out I know I'm not the greatest Call of Duty player and Rob's actually pretty good uh, himself and uh, 
I was just glad to have it that close. I was glad that we both had a really good time and didn't really uh, talk shit. It was more just congratulating each other, and uh, it was just it's a really good experience, and uh, definitely something we're gonna have to do a lot more. So um, really good fun with that uh, twenty dollar PSN tournament. It was for the DLC technically, uh, Eclipse that just came out, but most of our players have the uh, season pass, so we're like, why not just put it towards something, do whatever they want to with. Um, Second biggest thing that happened during this week was the people I work with, um, the people that particularly drive the patrol car. They're not the smartest people in the shed. And again, guys, if I'm squinting, I'm usually squinting because I'm outside a lot, but the shade just went down. Um, trying to, I guess it's supposed to rain, but uh, trying to get this in before any of that stuff. But uh, anyway, the people that drive in the patrol car. On Saturdays, I work from eight to four. I drive the patrol car. When I am relieving, we're supposed to report anything, we're supposed to, and we have all this stuff documented on the iPad that we use, what we do and all this. Well, my pa first off, person that relieved me from my work tried to call off, tried to pull this bullshit. I wasn't having it. So I helped her out as much as possible saying that, look, just come in from four to seven, I'll have the person coming in at seven, just relieve you and you can go, whatever. Don't pull that bullcrap on me. Second, I reported to her. The car's running just a little bit hot. You know, in the gauges from cool to hot, um, it was, here's the medium point, here's hot. It was at, like, not even at three quarters. It was, like, in between three quarters and a half. I mean, I, I said, hey, just to let you know, this is what's happening. She lets it on. She passes it on, but then... When it starts running hot, no one reports it, and there's an actual thing that says, like a report that you can make. No one seemed to think it was important to call the director, who's in charge of everything and the entire site for security, or just in general, like, let your supervisors know those kind of things. What's going on with that? Um, but yeah, it was just this whole debacle. I go when I leave on Saturday afternoon I shouldn't have to come in Sunday night Monday morning whatever you want to look at it and be like oh the car is not working you got to take the golf cart or use your personal car and I'm like come on man like you couldn't deal with this crap earlier like there's a reason why you're working right now but no that, that's that doesn't seem to be um, feasible in their mind so I had to take care of that, had to drive my own personal car one night, and that really annoyed me. And on top of that, it looks like the residents in the community don't see it as the car might have trouble. They see it as us being lazy. And I take great pride in my work and my work ethic. And I hate people thinking that. Um, our, my in-laws, like I said, are in the process of moving, moving stuff uh, to Jacksonville. And um, just moving stuff out of our place. We're, we're storing a little bit of their stuff uh, just until the time needed that they can take it out. And that's fine with me. It's whatever, you know, it's family. Um, but a lot of things that they're doing is uh, needing us to uh, take their dog, which is a rescue that my oldest sister-in-law got from Jacksonville. Uh, she found them and they rescued them. Great dog, have nothing no problems with him. He's, he's a really good dog. He's sweet. He's big. He's just a lovable teddy bear. Uh, but we've been dog sitting uh, Saturday, or Friday night into Sunday. We dog sat or Saturday. I'm not sure. Um, but dog sat. Dog sat him last night uh, when my wife needed to uh, go to. She's been doing art. Some really good artwork. Um, might show you guys the painting and she's okay with it. Uh, she's kind of self-conscious about it, but she really loves doing it. She's actually not that bad. Um, some of the things that she hates is flowers, and she gets a little bit of anxiety when she doesn't know exactly how to do something. But she actually did flowers last night with her best, one of her best friends, and they turned out amazing. And we've been hanging it up on the blank wall in the house. So I uh, have a lot of uh, paintings up by her, which they look amazing. Um, and last but not least, I have been getting into a ton of podcasts here lately. And I just kind of, like, I brought this up to the guys that I play with, the clan, um, just to give them, like, a heads up. Like, hey, if you like this, I mean, I, guys, I work 
midnight to eight for the most part un unless it's Saturdays you have to find something to keep you awake and I do my job and I continue to roll around I listen to talk radio and the show I listen to that I like is from 12 to 4 12 to 4 okay you're halfway done what do you do from that time on well on top of like running radar and everything you gotta be out of the car you still got like I mean I'm sorry but I gotta do something I'm, I'm very ADD when it comes to that stuff so I listen to a lot of podcasts and uh with me being primarily a gaming channel here, I listen to a lot of stuff on games. And it doesn't necessarily have to be PlayStation, but that's what I base most of my stuff out of. Um, but I love I love anything to do with gaming, especially if it's like a great franchise that I've liked or played in the past. I like doing that. So I listen to like uh, PlayStation Beyond. Uh, I think that's an IGN a broadcast of PlayStation news and stuff coming out for that. Um, I listen to PS I Love You from the guys from Kind of Funny Gamecast or Ga Kind of Funny Podcast or whatever. Those guys are really good. This I think it's rated number one in the states for that. Um, the Game Informer show or something like that. Game Informer. Um, just trying to think of all of them. Also, I'm a huge horror guy, so I've been listening to like different. Horror podcast, uh, Shadowcast with Rob Dyke. He's uh, actually a really good YouTuber. If you guys want, you know, I'm not not branding his stuff or anything like that. I'm just saying, check his stuff out. He's very informative and he's kind of got a dark side to him, so I, I, I enjoy that kind of stuff. Um, he does it with one of his winners that he had on his channel. Um, number two, No Sleep Podcast. Um, I'm not sure if these are meant to be fictional or what, but if they're if they're written well and told out loud, it's basically like a book on tape. Um, some of them could be possibly real. Uh, like I'm not saying they could be real, like as in the story could be real. I'm saying like it makes you feel that it's a real story. Um, it's a really good podcast. If you guys uh, need like some suggestions for horror. I downloaded this one podcast like a long time ago. Just haven't. I've just been saving the episodes. Just haven't gotten into it. Haven't really given it the time. But this past week, I started listening to uh, the podcast called "We're Alive," and basically, what it is is an ongoing story week after week of uh, three guys that were in the army who are trying to survive uh, the zombie outbreak in Los Angeles. Actually, really good. I'm on chapter. I want to say like 10 or 11 and each chapter is three parts and each parts like 20 minutes long so you guys can tell I've been putting some time and effort in this uh, podcast and I really enjoy it so if you guys want um, I, I you know I love YouTube I love Netflix but when I'm when I'm not able to stream those I don't have a lot of data on my phone excuse me <laughs> uh, Hyrule would not be obliged by their their label being bunched up so I have to kind of do it but anyway um, if you guys don't have like data and stuff where you can just stream stuff randomly uh, what I would suggest you doing is possibly downloading some shows you like and it doesn't have to be gaming I'm just saying check out iTunes store check out Google Play whatever it is that this place is at check out your local podcast area um, if you're in politics, there's plenty of politics stuff. If you're in health and fitness, there's plenty of that. Make sure you guys don't just completely stop. And because, like, reading books is great. Um, that's great. And this podcast are kind of like stuff like formal discussions. It could be a book, could be anything that's just talked on to a recorder and you listen to it. So. Just give it a chance, guys. That's all I'm saying. And uh, basically, with that being said, I'm looking at my board that's right behind you guys, and you guys can't see it. I have uh, a couple of goals up there. There's two main goals that I really want to do. I want to start uh, streaming on Twitch. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to bring a bad product. I'm very, I'm not a perfectionist. I just want to get a good quality product that I'm happy with out there. And I'm not sure how to do it. I'm not very computer savvy. So I'm having some, a couple of people help me out with that, getting it set up and whatnot. Uh, number two, and we're halfway there, guys. Uh, 
would never even expect me to get past 50 people that want to watch my videos, but now we're close to 80, which is really awesome. So, uh, you know, I, I have a goal in mind. I'm not going to tell you it because I don't want any help in this. I just want you guys to be happy with the videos I produce. And if you don't like them, please get in contact with me on uh, Twitter. If you guys have an idea how to, uh, you know, how to, how to improve videos, how to, you know, talk to me, whatever. I'm on PlayStation, the same as uh, Sag Lich on here. It's the same thing on my PSN. My Twitter, same thing. Just hit me up, guys. If you And if you have any ideas that you would like me to see, I will do my best to get uh, the ideas you give me and put them on the video. So, I'm just saying there. Um, my hands are tied in a couple of places. I'm very limited to what I can do, but I'm trying to do best. I'm trying to improve. But with that being said, guys, um, another thing, yesterday's video. Check it out. I love... Uh, I'm not sure if the audio is there or not. Um, like, the audio is there, but it's quiet. It sounded to me like it was quiet. So I might have to go back, listen to it with my earbuds in, and uh, check that out. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately this week I didn't get Titans gameplay in. I was exhausted yesterday, and I couldn't couldn't get it to go. I, I mean, guys, sometimes when you work overnight, it's a little different. And Thursdays when I have off. I stay awake when I get home and I just uh, go through the day but uh, again some reminders I see but uh, yeah with that being said guys I will bring you a office setup once I get the bookcase for it get everything involved in uh, all these uh, different things but hope you guys are having a great day hope you're having a great Friday and uh, I appreciate you guys staying with me on this journey as it goes uh, whether I'm lazy or not, you guys that watch my videos, I really appreciate it. And as always, I'm going to try to be myself. I'm going to try to, you know, I improve not only on the videos, but I try to improve on myself as well. And mainly because I want others in my life to be happy with me. I'm happy. I'm usually happy with myself for the most part. I just want to make sure that the people in life are happy with me. And like I always say, it's always better quality than quantity and so that being said guys i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna take the dog out quit listen to the bark quit listen to the pool run and uh, i'll see you guys next week i uh, appreciate you coming out and i'll see you next time make sure you check in the description below because we don't do outros on these videos make sure you check out the description below for my channel as well as my twitter check in the description for the vlogs or hanging out with sags whatever you want to call them and I'll catch you on the flip side. So uh, see you next week, guys. Peace out.